Hey guys, welcome to this Start9 webinar. Uh, today we're going to be going over how to make a uh, ch change or an edit or a suggestion to our uh, documentation repo. Uh, here you can see the page uh, with this guide on it is on our docs website under developer docs documentation. And I'll also drop the link for that in the description of this video. So the only prerequisite here is that uh, we'll need to have a GitHub account. Uh, right now, Start9 does all of their public collaboration on the GitHub. Git repo we have Git repositories on GitHub, and that's where you know, we do all of our public uh, collaboration. One day we'll probably move to uh, something self-hosted like Git T, but for now that's where we're at. Uh, so you'll need an account there. Um, I went ahead and set up an account for, uh, for this demo today already. So Start9 demo is the name of that account. So we're just going to follow through this guide here. Uh, so the first thing is we're going to go over to start nice documentation repo. Uh, and you'll see here in the URL bar that we're at github.com and then the uh, start nine labs is the organization and documentation is the name of uh, the code repository that we're working with here. Uh, and then we'll see here that our guide will tell us to <clears throat> go ahead and fork the repository. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll find this uh, fork icon here. And then next we'll be creating a fork. Now we have a, a, docu a repository name which we can edit if we choose. I would recommend keeping it the same when you're forking um, at this time uh, just to begin with. Uh, and we have a description you can change if you want as well. And we'll go ahead and create the fork. So next we have the option to either edit an existing page, which is what we're doing today, or create a new page if you, if you wanted to create a new, um, a new guide or something. Uh, but today we're going to edit an existing page. So let's pick a page here. Why don't we go to user manual and uh, we'll go to the uh, dashboard overview here. Uh, and let's make an edit here. Let's add a description to the dashboard overview page. <coughs> So next we need to find the page. So here it says to click through the relevant directory to find the article that we want to edit and select it. Um, so we'll go in here to the, so we see here that uh, we're in the user manual dashboard overview and uh, the, in the URL we have latest, which is the version that we're on. We use a versioning system, uh, but right now we're on master and that'll always be what you're editing. Uh, user manual is the section we're under and then dashboard overview is the page that we're looking for. So that can help you find what you're looking for. Now in the repository, um, you might have to dig around in some repositories, but I happen to know that site is where all of our pages are located. And then under site, the source is where all of uh, the content is located in this case. So you go to site source for all of your edits if you want to use uh, or make an edit in the documentation. Then we see here we have all the top level directories, including user manual, which is where we're going. And then we just need to find dashboard overview, which is its own page right here. Okay, and then now that we've found that, let's check our guide. And we're gonna go ahead and click the edit button in the corner. So we're gonna find that um, pencil icon and go ahead and edit the file. So let's put in our description here. And let's just say uh, this is a walkthrough of the Start OS dashboard. And then let's check our guide where we're at. Uh, so make our edit, which we've done. Uh, and then we need to describe our changes, create a new branch for the commit. Um, and it looks like there is a change here to the GitHub flow. So our guide is a little bit dated here. Um, so what we want to do is we're going to be making that commit, I think. And uh, so we'll just have to wing it here. Um, so anyone that's watching, if you want to make an edit, there's an edit to make. Um, so we'll just compare what we're looking at here. Yeah, they previously had this underneath. Uh, and now they've just moved this um, to a slightly different flow here. So what we want to do is create a new branch for this commit and then start a pull request. 
So we'll go back here. We have our commit message. Uh, we can make a description here. Uh, wrote a description for the uh, dashboard overview. Uh, and then we want to create a new branch. Um, and you can call this whatever you want. Uh, by default here, it's called the username and then patch one. Um, why don't we call it something else? We'll just call this dashboard overview uh, description. And then hit propose changes. And then let's see what the guy's looking like here. This might be out of whack still. Yeah, so we're brought to a, a completely different page here. So anyone that's watching, if you want to make uh, these edits to update the uh, documentation editing flow, that would be a great uh, first PR. Um, need some new screenshots here, as well as some of these steps need to be changed uh, slightly. Um, here you see we were previously having to click back into the uh, documentation repository under our user. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and that's uh, just no longer the case. So what we need to do instead is we need to compare this across forks. Okay, so right now we're working in the Start9 demo um, user uh, and the, their documentation repository. And what we actually need to do is compare this uh, fork and this branch that we just created to Start9 Labs official documentation uh, repository. So we'll need to change to that here. Okay, and that'll now compare those two. So we're now comparing our um, branch that we just created, the dashboard overview description, to the Start9 Labs documentation master branch. And you're always going to be, uh, for these purposes uh, in the documentation, you're always going to be committing to the master branch. Uh, in some more complex code repositories, that may not always be the case. Uh, but we are going here into the base repository for Start9 Labs uh, in the master branch. And uh, just to Look here again, that's the equivalent of this step here. Um, but again, this GitHub flow has changed slightly. <clears throat> Excuse me, so we're kind of playing it by ear here on this, on this first webinar here. So we'll go ahead and create this pull request. Uh, and you see we've got our title and our description here. We also have an option down here to allow edits by maintainers. I suggest you leave that clicked so that we can just um, make a, a slight change if there's a typo or something instead of having to message back and forth with you about it. And then we'll go ahead and create the pull request. And that's pretty much it. You see here we're back in the Start9 Labs official documentation repository where there's some more pull requests and issues and whatnot. Uh, we've got uh, our PR here is ready for review now. Uh, and so the next step here is that a Start9 team member would uh, perform a review on the code that you changed. Uh, and they'll do that by coming up here and looking at the uh, code that you changed. We see, okay, we made a description here. Uh, and then they could uh, go ahead and they could approve that or they could um, start a dialogue about it or they could request changes, uh, whatever's necessary. Uh, you'll see here that I won't be able to approve my own PR because I'm not logged in as a Start9 team member. Um, but this is here and uh, ready for review now. And if we just run through here to the bottom, we'll see um, that we've, we've got a similar similar steps, but uh, our, our the process has changed on GitHub side, so this uh, documentation guide will need an overhaul. So if anyone out there is looking to do that, uh, go ahead and knock it out. Otherwise, we will get that updated uh, as soon as we get a chance to. Um, so thanks so much for watching and that's it. That's how we make uh, a PR into the documentation repo for the Start9 documentation. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next one.